everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm hopping along with some awesome crafty friends to celebrate the super duper amazing Justine Hovey reaching 50,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So today's hump is showing off some of our favorite uh, techniques and one of the ones that I go to over and over again is ink blending. I'm going to show you two different um, projects today using ink blending in different uh, formats. And uh, this little bit here, we can see is um, I'm using my Pikastan Studio Light Changing Blender brushes. And sometimes I'm a little bit lazy about cleaning them off. So I will rub them on a spare piece of paper. This actually happens to be a notepad. And then I leave the corresponding brush on top of that color. So I know which one I've got. Because I have a fair few of these brushes actually. So uh, yeah, there you have it. Okay, so I have cut out two banners, a pocket full of banners, I think it is. Um, pocket banners maybe from Old to New. And I'm using my brushes to blend over some heat embossing on this. And this is going to be my first card. And because it's a really vibrant, vibrant? Vibrant uh, ink blending, I decided to use the purple colored card base here, just to kind of make all the colors pop a little bit more. And with the help of Mama Elephant's Number It die cuts, I have cut out the number 40 out of some hot pink glittery cardstock. To finish off the card, I have stamped up Happy Birthday in Wilted Violet Distress Oxide Ink on a thin strip of white cardstock. Then I'm just cutting these down, adding a little bit of foam tape on the back just to make them pop up a little bit. We're gluing down the numbers and the actual pocket banner to the card and this is done. This is how quick and easy you can do a card. I mean this is probably less than 10 minutes. So if you're in a hurry and you want to add a bit of a splash of color or just something that you know looks fun and colorful, ink blending is the way to go for sure. Throughout this hop, you will see over 50 cards made using different techniques, so definitely stick with it. And I really cannot say enough good things about the blender brushes. They have made my ink blending game so much stronger. I'm getting such a better blend and look, and I'm, yeah, I am such a fan of these brushes. So there you go. A little bit of Lawn Fawn liquid glue and taking the backs of the adhesive and slapping these down. Bam, bam, and the card is done. Easy peasy, right? That lovely burst stamp, it actually is from the ton and it's called Bouquet Burst Round. I have heat embossed that in Alter News Antique Gold, which is one of my favorite golds. I love this one. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And so easy. Right, hopping in onto the next one. I'm using the Ulta New Classy Stripes stencil and I've sprayed it with my pixie spray. As you can see, it's sticking really, really well to the cardstock. And then we are going to do some yellow ink blending. So these um, inks are from the Pocket Full of Sunshine collection. You can also buy these um, individually. I have linked all the products below. So if you want these specific ones, just click on the link and it'll take you directly to the Ulta New Shop where you can buy these. Now we're gonna hop into an even more of a time lapse just to finish off the ink blending. And then we're gonna have a quick look at how that looks. Obviously the good thing with ink blending is that you think, oh, I'm not a fan of yellow. Just pick another color. It's so easy to change up the looks. And this is one of those things where just by changing the color scheme or the, um, the things that are gonna go on top of the card, like your theme, like go with animals for kids instead of flowers or coffee for your coffee lovers or whatever it might be. It's so easy to just create really fun backgrounds with ink blending. With the background piece colored and ready, and we're setting that aside, and I'm going to stamp up some other items to go with my card. 
I have heat embossed a um, wood grain stamp with some platinum embossing powder uh, and then cut that out using the mega alphabet letter L. Then to finish off the card, I have also stamped up some spring daisy stamps and using the same yellow inks and also uh, some gray ones. I'm stamping up flowers and leaves and cutting these out. And oh, sorry, you can see my head a little bit there. <laughs> Funnily enough, wearing a gray hat with yellow flowers on. Wonder where I got the inspiration from. So here are all my pieces cut out and with a light gray card base, my background and my L and my flowers, we are going to, well, we, I, I do this all the time, I'm so sorry. We, by we, I mean I, I am going to pass around the pieces and just try to work on the layout a little bit. And this card, I'm actually not gonna add any more sentiments on the front. I am just gonna keep it to the L. So on the inside, you could write whatever you wanted to do. Uh, and the L is for a friend whose name starts with an L. So I'm gonna send this later, soonish. I'm not very good at sending out happy mail. I'm a bit sucky about that, sorry. Um, right, so here we have it. This is going to be my final layout. And to make sure that all my pieces stay where I want them to go, I am reusing a piece of uh, press and seal. This I've uh, used before and then I just keep it in a safe place so that I can reuse it over and over again until it just loses its stickiness. Because I really, really do not like crafty waste. It's ugh, horrible. Right, on the back of this, I am just using a tape runner and then gluing this down. And then to add a little bit of dimension to the flower and the L and the leaves, I'm going to pop those up with a little bit of foam tape. And that's all gonna go on the back. So there's one piece done. Then we're skipping to the foam taping and I'm using a fair amount of foam tape here to make sure that everything stays up relatively evenly. And with all the backings taken off, we just turn the whole shebang over and press it down onto our card. And that finishes this card. So there we have it, two cards done in uh, literally no time whatsoever uh, using ink blending as my favorite technique. Don't forget to leave a comment on this video and then hop on to the next person in the lineup, watch the video, leave a comment and so on and so on. Justine is giving away five $50 gift certificates to either scrapbook.com or Ellen Hudson. So these will be given up randomly throughout the hop. So the more videos you watch and the more you comment, the better your chances are winning. The winners will be drawn on the 15th of October on Justine Hovey's blog. That is justinehovey.com. You can find links to her blog, her YouTube, as well as the um, Technique Resource Binder classes and down, low, uh, down below in the descriptions. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna follow along for some more crafty shenanigans. And as always, all the links below are supplied with affiliate links at no extra cost to you.